morning students this lesson tiger hill which has been written by the 19th chief of army staff general vivek sagar swami he was the dead general when kargil war took place the kargil war was of 50 days or the battle went for 50 days from 3rd of may 1999 to 26th of july 1999 There is an amazing story about this Kargil War. Though we adore our heroes, especially our Tiger Hill, who was Subedar Major Yogendra Singh Yadav, who got followed with Chak, who suffered 40 bullets, and due to whom we could recapture Tiger Hills on 4th of July 1999 at 6:50 a.m. That is the point I zero six two, which is five three zero seven meters high. That altitude where the Pakistanis were sitting and Indians had to ascend the Tiger Hill from the lowest point to get a toe hold and gradually winning it on fourth of July, nineteen ninety nine. But then the background of this, not only this, the entire Kargil War is set. Say in the winters of 1998, there is a 300 kilometer stretch, especially a 100 kilometer stretch, which is unmotorable, unreachable, unmanageable. Three units of army, Indian army, serve this 300 kilometer stretch at the Asian Glacier, which is on Karakoram Ranges, at at line of control. Line of control is that imaginary line, de facto border between us. And part occupied Kashmir, Azad Kashmir, which we call. So this part occupied Kashmir was annexed, or you may say, was captured by Pakistan. They cheated us in the year 1947, and they captured certain part of Kashmir, the Rajasthan state. It is believed, and the United Nations says that it is an independent country. Actually. It is misused by, it is being misused by Pakistan. Oh. So through that border, right from Jozila to Leh, 300 kilometer stretch is was observed by, or safeguarded by, to 2,500 soldiers, say three units of soldiers. So for 100 kilometer, there were only 800 soldiers. Because it was an unmanageable place because of extreme climate, say of minus 45 degrees Celsius. So there was an agreement from both the sides, from India as well as Pakistan, on Karakoram Ranges and line of control. But that particular stretch, till 1999, now it is heavily guarded place. Till 1999, and based on the agreement of India as well as Pakistan, that we will commission less number of soldiers there. In the winters of 1998. Most of these Indian-controlled points were vacated because of harsh climate conditions, unable to manage them. Taking the advantage of that, Pakistani militants entered through those points. You may say that that particular border, say of 100 or 200 or 300 kilometers, was the weakest point in our border till 1990. It was equally weak for them, but we never intruded into their domain. We never did that. They took advantage and they entered. I mean, terrorists or militants or mercenaries. They entered into our domain, right? They entered into our domain. Make it two sides. Then.
but he was abducted by the Pakistani forces. He and all the five soldiers, they were kept in Pakistani captivity for 22 days. For 22 days. And their body parts were mutilated, iron rods were put in their ears drums. Now, this is Badhada. At the same time, you see page number 55, the second paragraph. For the first time in the Indian's military history, a TV channel covered the battle life. She's Badhada. Cover the battle life. Right? So, coming back to the background of the story, which is, he wanted to report it. He was abducted. He was, his body was mutilated and then was given to Indian Army after 22 days. Indian Army couldn't understand what was actually happening because there is a different strategy to deal with militants. With the same arms and ammunitions, they cannot deal with army or soldiers. So Indian Army had no inkling on the fact that Pakistani Army had entered into our domains, crossing line of control, entering 4 to 5 kilometers inside India and holding 130 points. Those 130 points which were winter vacated points by Indian Army. It was only when one Muhammad Yusuf, who was an ex-army man, who was living somewhere near Toroli, his children were cattle herders. They noticed certain persons smoking cigarettes, which had a different brand, they had a different body language, they spoke a little bit different language, who called these children and told them to leave these cattle and go. Immediately they reported it to Muhammad Yusuf. Muhammad Yusuf himself was an army person. He could very well identify those soldiers and he immediately reported this to the nearest army officer. That those are not militants. They are Pakistani soldiers. They have surrounded all of us. Then the strategy was made executed by Government of India, Operation Vijay, the Infantry, Operation Safed Sagar, Indian Air Force and Operation Talwar, Indian Navy. Thus the operation started and the first thing they had to do was to vacate all these Pakistani soldiers from Tololi. And the work was given to Jammu and Kashmir Rifles. Right? Captain Vikram Batra is considered to be the hero of that and there is a famous punchline of Pepsi in Dil Mage Mor, he would say. He also got martyred later in the Kargil War and he was given, he was awarded for a gift chapter posthumously. After this, 18 grenadiers were given the charge of vacating all the Pakistani soldiers from Tagalogs. That was the biggest challenge, the toughest fight on the mountainous terrain. Never did it happen in the history of Indian battles, post-independence. Considering 1947, where they had occupied our Kashmir, some parts of it. Considering 1965, then 1971. 1971 war is very famous after which Shimla agreement took place and all of you all must have seen the movie Border, right? The Logewala battle which took place. Bangladesh was liberated, right? So, but this one, Kargil war was a totally different one. First, we had to ascend that hill, our own hill, to capture it, to recapture it, to reclaim it. Second, most of the soldiers, most of the heroes who got martyred were aged between 22 and 25. All were young. <laughs> that valor, <coughs> that valor was special at that time in the Kargil War, which took place. So the Tiger Hill was captured within a day by 6:50 a.m. on 
the 4th of July, 1999, it was captured and the hero was Subedar Major Yogendra Singh Yadav. Right? 14 bullets were pumped into his body. He was awarded Parambir Chakra. So this is the story. Now we will watch this. This is 2000 year 2019. Is being sound. Is being observed and celebrated as marking 20th anniversary of the So this was a video presented by some channel.
they took their own time right from November, December 1998 to April, May 1999. Four, five months were there with them. Pakistanis. And they had awarded this Kali War. But then it was a heroic act, the most heroic act. And first thing, first time it was captured in Canada.
Bhutan, the Indian army began the attempt to reclaim Tiger Hill, that majestic mountain peak right behind the government. We'll take you back now to that weekend in July, the victory of Tiger Hill that was to be a turning point in the country. Subedar Yugendra Singh Yadav, who was awarded the country's highest gallantry award, the Paramvi Chakra, for valor and courage in the Kargil War. This is the story of his bravest moment on the battlefield. National Highway Banalpa, which was Sri Nagar to lay a lifeline, it was completely blocked. The logistic support was not going to go forward. It was very important that the Sena was going to be a good job. It was to capture the Tiger Hill Party. इसके लिए हमारी बटालियन को चुना गया। टाइगर हिल द्रास सेक्टर की सबसे ऊंची चोटी थी, जिसकी ऊंचाई 16,500 फीट। The approach to the top of the hill was steep, rocky and extremely dangerous. Grenadier Jogendra Yadav, unmindful of the danger involved, volunteered to lead and fix the rope for his team to climb up. But the enemy spotted them. उन्होंने दोनों तरफ से ऐसे फरिंग खोल दिया। जो हमारी टुकड़ी का रास्ता था वो कटअप हो गया। And they opened intense fire, killing the commander and two of his colleagues. Grenadier Yugendra Singh Yadav was also seriously injured, but he did not give up. He continued crawling up to the enemy position, even though his body was riddled with bullets. He finally reached the top, lobbing grenades and firing at the enemy. He killed four enemy soldiers in close combat and finally silenced their automatic fire. Inspired by his gallant act, his platoon charged in the other positions with renewed fervor and captured Tiger Hill. Tiger Hill top के ऊपर 18 grenades ने विजय पता का फहरा दिया, जो कि कारगिल युद्ध का युटा हुआ। 